You've spent a number of years working with some fairly major organizations, actually Bloomberg, Gartner, to name a few. But now you started your own LP, the Silverback. So, so what I'm really interested in is finding out a little bit about you. So the first question really is, who is Michael Leckie? What's your mission, Michael? The second part's easy to answer. I actually remember Rod Wagner, who used to be with Gallup, who's the author of multiple books now and a great guy, told me once that one of the Gallup questions they ask when they're interviewing you to be a consultant there is, What's your mission? And he said, one of the things they do is also people who hesitate or aren't quite sure, they tend to step back from because they want someone who really knows where they're going for, for. And so he asked me that one day at dinner. And I said, I think it's to make the world a better place to live and work one organization at a time. And the only thing that's changed in that over probably the last 20 years is trying to make the world a, a better place to live and work, but I'm trying to do it with more than one organization at a time, hence writing the book and some of the things I do. But for me, they're intertwined. It's like, how do we we spend so much time at work. It's so much of our life. We give so much to it. It means so much to us. How do we make that better? And I'm not talking about like perks or benefits. I'm talking about how do we make it meaningful, high impact, rewarding, something that we really believe in, but also create for me an environment where we have the capability of change so we can evolve because so much lack of change is hurting our organizations. And, and I think making us unhappy when we can't change with where it needs to go. So that's my mission. As far as who Michael Leckie is, uh, it's funny. I have the two children in their young 20s, and they once asked me not long ago about, well, how did you plan out your career? And I said, that would have been a really good idea, plan out the career. But it's really just been a series of uh, great mistakes and trying things and going where the growth is. And uh, as, as the great 20th century philosopher Cher said, if you're not willing to look foolish, you'll never have a shot at greatness. So letting myself look foolish and just try things and do it. And <laughs> that's brought me here through a number of corporate jobs. I was in large scale consulting, like with Arthur Anderson, uh, small consulting with a great little firm called Stuart Levine and Associates. And I worked for Gartner for many years, uh, General Electric, Bloomberg, and then about three years ago, I decided I wanted to take all that and see what could I do to take what I'd learned and what I'd been given by all those great organizations and people I'd worked with and for and do something interesting, give something back and maybe work in a space that I thought had some real challenges like change management and change and transformation and building culture.